One thing to watch out with the QL is that we've got the transverse process of the spine that projects laterally like that. And what you can do sometimes is mistake a trigger point in QL for, uh, you can mistake a transverse process for a trigger point. So actually what you're doing is just jamming those tissues into a TP. And how would you know if that's the case? One, you can feel it. Two, if you can't feel it, then they'll tell you the pain is not decreasing, so you move along. Give it maybe 20, 30 seconds before you do that. So we're working through transversely first because those fibers go in that direction. And we're looking out for a particular tender spot. Let me know, okay, anything there at all? I can the feel- the whole thing is just screaming at me today. Just the whole thing, okay. <laughs> I can feel a tight spot, so then it's kind of up to you. There's a tight spot there for me, just as we move into QL. Yeah. About there. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Great. But I don't know if that position is sustainable for me for a long period of time. Um, so maybe then you want to look at some difference in positioning. So actually this way is not bad because I'm trying not to put the pressure down. I'm trying more to find the spot and then pull in. Is that it? Yep. Perfect. Okay. So loose grip on the couch and I'm kind of engaging my lats really to pull that elbow into my hip. And I can hold that now for a good few minutes without too much stress and strain to me. Number? Uh, six. Okay. Where did it start? Seven. Okay. Well, probably like high seven. Great, deep breaths then. You might have to move with the body here because QL is a muscle of exhalation. So it might contract. Try and move with the number. Um, three. Perfect, deep breath. And breathe out. And at this point they might tense up because they know what's coming, don't they? When they say three and you say perfect. More pressure inbound. Yeah. Number? Seven. Okay. All I've done there is a very slight lean in and again pulling the elbow in towards my hip. Do your best to relax into it. Just let the elbow sink in, melt into the tissues. Number? Three. Okay, you're not just saying that, are you? Two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Deep breath. And breathe out for the last one. There's a big difference there in what I can feel, even with my elbow. Number? So probably about five. Okay, that's good, because I'd say I'm at the limit of pressure that I'd feel comfortable putting in with an elbow in this spot. Let me know as that begins to drop. Yeah, already decreasing. Where are we at number-wise? Uh, probably like two or less. Perfect, deep breath in. And breathe out. Yeah, that, that definitely needed that. Good. Finishing off with some FRH as a form of reassessment as well. To see if those tissues moving as they were before. Is there still a tight spot? I would say that's been quite successful by your reaction, but also what I can feel, which is always satisfying that you've made a change and that they're aware of that. So you, 